Okay guys, uh, I think uh, for this video we will just do the assembly So uh, if you like to watch it, uh, I'll assemble the uh, two blaster This kit to the uh, Exus, uh, please uh, watch the video uh, I've watched a few videos on the assembly uh, Basically from YouTube channel and also Jet Blaster's uh, official uh, Facebook page I realized uh, some portion there's a uh, some inconsistency and also there's uh, probably one missing steps in the uh, Facebook uh, version of it so hopefully let's uh, see uh, how we can make, make out of it and uh, hopefully I'm successful okay so uh, I guess I'll start with the uh, alpha kit first okay uh, basically I put the spring inside uh, for this uh, application I'm just going to use a 14 kg spring that I bought uh, so it doesn't come with the spring you have to purchase it yourself so this is the upper kit so uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what we are going to example first so this spring doesn't come with it is my personal purchase okay so normally I'll just like to organize my stuff first so that I don't get it mixed up so uh, probably I'll just fast forward this portion later in the editing Okay, so so now we are more or less ready. So, guess uh the recommended uh steps is basically the plunger first, which is this guy over here, and this piece over here, as well as uh this piece over here with the two holes, with a thread. Okay, okay, so this thing actually goes here. Okay, and then uh, the spring goes in. So make sure your spring is uh, able to go in all the way. Yep. Make sure it sits well with the uh, this piece over here. Okay. So this is uh I watched the video uh, from Jet Blaster. So this guy is at the angle. It's uh pretty cool. So uh, you can watch the video, I will link it in the description uh, Why is it at such an angle, what's the purpose of it So I thought that it's uh, pretty interesting Okay, okay so I'm gonna screw it in Okay Okay, I'm just gonna make sh just like to make sure that uh, it is fine okay all right so uh, basically now I'm gonna put the o-ring now uh, I watched the uh, video on the YouTube as well as the one in the Facebook now on the YouTube I guess is a uh, earlier version is probably the prototype so uh, the o-rings are all in this color but I guess the one in the uh, Facebook page is the later one so it is actually the black one you're supposed to put with this guy over here so I'm just gonna put it in okay seems a bit seems a bit loose okay okay I think this o-ring is a bit there's something over here okay I will choose this, the other one. Oh well luckily they have two so it's supposed to be the black one hmm so it's a bit loose anyway okay hmm okay okay it's supposed to be uh you no know, you can uh you move backwards and then you seal the stuff but anyway this is the uh so-called complete portion so later on i'm just gonna apply the uh grease off camera so you don't need to see me uh, the thing my hands okay so this is considered done in a way okay so the next one right so the next one is this guy over here this guy over here this guy over here all right okay so um from their facebook instruction the 
I, I think they missed out placing this piece inside okay so I watched the YouTube one which is the earlier version they actually talk about putting this piece inside here first then uh, you screw this two together so but uh, on the Facebook one well uh, after you after the uh, completion you can see that in the picture you, you can actually clearly see that uh, this piece is actually fit in so I'm sure it should be inside and of course uh, the one with the uh, uh, holes are facing out okay so you can put this in Okay, so you have this piece here, this here. So then the uh, O ring. Okay. Okay, that, that, that is easy. Okay, then you're supposed to place this uh, orange color one for this guy over here. Okay, again, uh, later on, I'll just uh, grease it up. Uh, uh, off camera so you don't even see me doing that this part this part okay next is this guy over here okay so this guy goes in here and then you have this pin over here to go through it so uh, you realize that uh, to go through is uh, pretty easy okay you don't need to hammer it or anything like that okay which is which is uh, good in my opinion Okay, so it's, it goes in pretty uh, easy. Okay, well, oh, my seems to be uh, be uh, quite tight by itself, so you don't really. Uh, uh, okay, it goes in pretty well. Okay, in fact, it's quite friction fit for mine. Okay, but uh, I'll, I'll just do what's recommended. Uh, they do say that uh, you can put a tape around it so that uh, you know, to prevent it from uh, uh, coming off, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, just choose some masking tape. Okay. Okay. Okay, one side. Do the other side. Okay, so that is uh, done, completed. Okay, so this is how it looks like over here. So next, what else? Okay, we have okay this guy over here. Okay, this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna take out all the pieces right now, so I don't think anything else require okay so this can be put aside okay so this guy okay so very simple this goes in here Yep, so it's something like something like this, right? Okay. So these are the few pieces. Now the spring itself, uh, it is said that uh, the small one is for the exhaust shell. So this is what I need, and then probably one of this for the uh, this guy over here, right? Okay, let me see which one fits better yep this one this this uh, so there are two they have given you two i assume one of them is for the long shot so this guy actually goes in uh, easier this guy no you can't really force it in so probably this one is for the long shot so i'm gonna put the extra set the extra aside so this one is for this 
is said to be placed here. Let me check. Okay. Okay, there are two of them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Both seems to be fine. Okay, I'm gonna go for this guy. Okay, any extra stuff? I'm just going to keep them. Please wait. Okay, so this is what uh, we have so far. So I'm going to. This is supposed to go in here. Okay, so. So I'm gonna apply silicone grease uh, off camera to this part, this part, and this part right here. So when we're back, we're gonna put all this into the exus shell. Okay, uh, so let's continue with the exus shell. So first thing to do is of course to put in this piece for the butt stock. So the bigger spring over here. Okay, so I'll just place it in. And this piece over here, take two screws. Just screw it in. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that is uh done. So next uh uh, let's bring up this shell. Okay, so I've uh, applied some grease and then, uh, yeah, so put it in. So this one is the one with the thread. So I'm supposed to screw it in. Okay, which go in pretty easy. We're supposed to test fit this guy until it drop in nicely. Okay, drop in nicely. Not supposed to have a lot of uh, movement, so let me just adjust it a little bit to see if we give it a, a nice. It. Okay. Yep. So this seems to be a good uh, setting over here. All right. Okay. So next. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put this barrel for the. Uh, Blaster itself, I realize it's a bit short. Okay, let me see. So, yeah, mm. I guess I'm fine. Okay, I'll just let it be. So, the orange portion followed by a little bit of silver in front. I think you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, okay, so it's a bit loose. Uh, so, so, I guess if I clamp the shell, I'll see whether it's still loose. Yeah, I can use a little bit more friction, I guess. Okay, so I'm just going to maybe a, put a tip around it. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Now what else? So I need to put this in. Okay. So this guy over here. Okay. Now for the trigger, so it should be, uh, let me see this piece over here, 
over here all right Mac release spring over here something like this hmm okay so this seems fine okay so let me just double check everything seems fine okay <coughs> so now just to close up the shell Okay, so I'll just put all the screw in and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, there's a lot of screwing. Okay, so uh, off camera I also uh, assemble this uh, pump grip. So basically it's just uh, take the uh, two bigger screw and screw it in and uh, that's, it. that's about it. So the last part is just to assemble. So there is a hole over here which you gonna align As such. Okay. Okay. So over here you use this sort of a nut and bolt kind of situation which I don't really like. I guess uh okay jet blaster I guess you can uh maybe change this part. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just make do. Okay, so we put it in. Okay, I'm gonna switch it around. Okay. Okay, let's go. Don't think you need to be too tight. In fact, you don't want it to be too tight. Okay, it's not going to come off. Okay, I think you can do a little bit more. Yep. So, let's uh, see whether it primes. Okay, it does uh, move. Okay. Yep. Okay, that, that's that. So let's put a butt in. Okay, that's about it. So I've not printed out the uh, butt stock, but uh, I'll probably do that in the future. Alright, so I'm going to prepare some darts and then uh, we see uh, whether it fires. Okay. So I've gathered some darts over here. So um, this is the worker one, but unfortunately it can't fit inside this magazine. So I'm gonna use this uh, this uh, P bag. Okay, so this is uh, I believe I got it from Artifact, and this is just a cut down version. Then this is a cut down version of the uh, prototype uh, darts, and then this is a cut down version. This is actually a man gun uh, dart. Okay, and then this is the waffle tip dart. Okay, so I'm just going to see whether it takes the dart. Uh, as for this turn, uh, probably we'll do it some other day. Okay, but uh, let's, let me just try this first, see whether it just fit. So I'm just going to put it here. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see if it fires. Okay, it does. 
Okay, so I that one. Ay. Okay, so I'm going to load up the rest. Okay, so this is a waffle done. Okay. okay. Okay, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. okay. So, first off, this is the uh, artifact one. Yep, it fires off. Uh, second will be this guy over here. Okay, so let's see whether it fires off. Uh, yes. Okay. Then next will be the prototype. Ah, uh, uh, yes, it does. Okay, okay, prototype. Next is this guy over here. Okay, so it does. Okay, next is the man gun. Okay, it does. And last, the cut down version of the waffle. And yes, it does. Okay, so yeah. Well, I put in a uh, 14 kg, I guess. Yep, so it works pretty fine. I guess 14 kg will be enough for me. I don't want to prime. Uh, to use so much strength to prime the blaster maybe that's why I do flywheels anyway uh, okay so this is how we put it up together so I guess the uh, the rest is probably uh, maybe I'll do some cosmetic kind of uh, attachment like this over here maybe this guy let me see I don't even use this that often okay some is some sight thing I guess yeah, so it's probably something somewhere here. And this thing. Yeah, so it's gonna be something like this. Okay, something like this if necessary. And then of course the last, the one that I like, is this side over here, which comes with a uh, thing over here. You know, if you, are, you know, reduce the glare a little bit. Okay, so this one probably is gonna fall down if my side is not up. Yeah, so I'll probably put up the, all these accessories in. Uh, in the next video, maybe I'll just uh, go out and uh, have a few shots and see how far it goes. So, thanks for watching, guys.